The Dyson of hair irons. Is the Dyson Corral worth the hype? In this video, we're gonna try it out. Good day, you beautiful people. Welcome to Isa Does Tech, where we do tech in your real life in style. This particular tech video is one that I know the ladies have been waiting for. So if you're a dude on my tech channel, I think you might want to show this to your girlfriend or your girl space friends. Today we're going to be talking about the Dyson Corral and this is Dyson's newest hair product. It's their high-tech hair straightener. I mean, you may have noticed that I'm wearing my hair different for this video. <laughs> In this video, I'm going to be telling you why this is such a big deal thing for hair tools. We're going to be unboxing it and trying it out. Let's go. Honestly, very excited right now. Let's do this. Here we go. So Dyson Corral, the straightener with flexing plates, enhanced styling, less reliance on heat, and cord-free. This is one info pack box. It says here that you can use it cord free or hybrid, meaning you can plug it in and use it. It has intelligent heat control with sensors that regulates temperature. Whoa, it checks it 100 times a second. Enhanced styling with cord free versatility. It has a tourmaline edge. And if you know hair stuff, you'd know that tourmaline is good for hair styling tools. And those plates, the bendy ones, they're made of manganese copper alloy. On the back, it gives us the different features, like there is a stand and there's a screen on this hair straightener. And in this box, well, I'm not gonna read that because we're gonna unbox it anyway, so let's go. Ooh, this is trippy. Wow. Wow, look at this nice wrapping paper. Ooh, ooh, okay. So I'm guessing that this here is the stand. Gives you instructions on how to assemble it. So there are two pieces basically. This thing. Oh, there we go. That is a really nice hair iron stand. So I guess the cord plugs in here and this is the contact for when you put the iron here. Ooh, power brick. That is a mighty big one. Moment of truth. Oops, I ripped it, sorry. Ooh, nice. So it says here, this thing just talks about the flight ready tag basically this thing has batteries but for you to be able to travel with them in your carry-on they put in this flight ready tag which means you are literally disconnecting the batteries when you pull it out this is an iron you guys why is this so pretty this is a velvet pouch Ooh, fancy here it is this is the flight tag right here and there is a special pouch in this carrying case that allows you to put the flight tag in so that it doesn't scratch your iron while you know it's packed and in your bag you have the dyson branding over here and you see those plates this is what that looks like and all you need to do is open this wait how there we go that's pretty smooth these are the plates that are supposed to be bendy. Ooh, they are bendy, look. Nice. Let's turn it on. Ooh, cool. Who would have thought that your iron would have an OLED screen, huh? So you can change temperature through here. The three settings. When you're keeping it, you can just do this and lock it. You can see there's a contact point at the bottom and this is how you charge. Right, I'm excited to actually try this. So let's go style hair. And here it is folks, the Dyson Corral. Right off the bat, I can tell you that this thing feels very, very premium. It has weight to it, like it's heavier than a normal iron. But Dyson says that this has been engineered to be like 
level on the hands for easy use so we'll see about that when we try it out i love how this thing has that carrying case that doubles as a heat pad you can put this thing on when it's hot because i have actually traveled with the air wrap and that thing is very big and bulky it took up like a third of my whole luggage i mean i had great hair but i didn't have luggage space this thing feels like it would fare better and I mean it also has that flight tab which sort of tells me that this is designed to be something you travel with. One thing I'm curious about though would be the battery because Dyson says that the battery should last around 30 to 40 minutes which I'm not sure would be enough to iron someone's whole head of hair because I mean for example I have so much hair so i guess that's something we take note of as well and check out basically in the next part of this video we're gonna see if it actually really works and if it's worth the hype say hi to my sister who was the willing test subject for this video her makeup wasn't on point that day so she refuses to say hi to the camera but no matter the hair is all i need so how the bendy plates work is they allow for even heat transfer by accommodating the hair you're running the iron across. This results in evenly ironed hair with one pass. And you know how when you iron your hair but towards the end hair gets spread out because of how flat the iron is and they snag and break and hurt you? That never happens here. And yes, this is heavier than normal irons, but Dyson's right. There's no one side that's heavier than the other, so it's actually really easy to maneuver and you hardly feel the weight when you're already using it. In no time, freshly ironed straight hair and with battery to spare. So I'm trying it on my hair now, but just to give you guys an idea, this is how my hair looks. I just washed it and this is how it dries. I did just do my sister's hair, but one thing to take note is that I have way thicker hair than her. Like probably all her hair is just like a third of how thick my hair is. I have bleached hair and I've had bleached hair for years now so my hair is very delicate um, as much as possible I don't like using too much heat on it because again I don't want to go bald having a cordless hair straightener means I can literally like walk around as I do this which I know it's weird, but it happens, so that's cool. Also, I never comb my hair, so let me just try and make sure there are no tangles. Do you see how fluffy this is? Yup. Starting with this, and you see how fluffy that is. I mean, right off the bat, you can see the difference. Wait, what time is it? 2.04 p.m. Let's see how long this will take. Because I didn't like section it properly, I'm just trying to go back and find the areas that I didn't get. There is legit no snagging with this because it just glides so smoothly. It's 2.08 and one side is done. So that's one side. This is the unironed side. What time is it? It's 12. I didn't even finish the battery. That's the fastest I have ironed my hair actually. Also, going straight is not the only thing you can do with this iron. You can also curl your hair and I think that took a little bit more effort for me because this wasn't something that was as easy as straightening. But when you get it right, you get really nice curls that look like this. 
I'm told there are other styles you could do as well, but um, right now my skills are only up to these two styles. And that was my look at the Dyson Corral. Final thoughts. It's honestly amazing how fast this thing works. I was amazed that this didn't die while I was doing my hair. Like I wasn't surprised when it didn't die doing my sister's hair because she has thinner hair. But for my full head of hair, that's amazing. Again, like any Dyson product, attention to detail is amazing on this. Even that stand that doubles as a charging dock is such a great addition because after I use it, I just place it on there, it charges, and then it stops when it's full, and every time I need it, it's just charged. I definitely see myself traveling more and just bringing this around instead so I have something to style my hair that's also very compact. I'm actually just very happy about this every time I see tech and innovation in aspects of my life, like hairstyling. Like every Everyone's been doing that, but we don't see a lot of high-tech stuff in that area. Every time I see technology being applied and utilized to these aspects, which we don't usually see or cover, right? It's not like there's smartphones or smartwatches where every year there's a new one. I get excited. It really shows you how technology can permeate every single detail of our lives and how it can prove these little experiences we never thought about incrementally. Hands down, this is the best hair iron I have ever tried in my life and that's coming from a semi-frizzy, wavy-haired person who has ironed her hair all her life and at some point just given up. So it is great tech that does work. Now the only question now becomes, with your hair and with your hair practices, is this worth it for that price point? And that's it for today's video. Let me know what your thoughts are on the Dyson Corral. If you want to see how I use my tech on a daily basis, you can find me online. That's at Cisa Said. Until next time. Can you see the difference? Ow.